Tonight, a 911 dispatcher in Norfolk's in hot water for what she posted on Facebook. She wrote the family of a suspect in a high profile police shooting should pay for the inconvenience of police. A lot of people are concerned a city employee would be so insensitive with those types of comments. A 10 on your side, Andy Fox is standing by live in the newsroom with what's really become a Facebook fallout, Andy. It really has. This is where all the controversy began on the Facebook page of Terry Busby. He is a former Norfolk cop. There is a lot of discussion on the shooting death of Omar Johnson, but it's the comments made by a 911 dispatcher that's caused the real dust up. This is Norfolk 911 dispatcher Jessica Camarillo, and on May 21st, she posted a comment on Facebook concerning the police involved shooting of Joshua Omar Johnson, who was gunned down by police at a Wells Fargo. Johnson's friend Michael Muhammad outraged by what he read. Our tremendous concern is that a 911 dispatcher holding that type of sentiment against citizens and taking that type of judgment to a public forum such as Facebook is very dangerous. This is what Camarillo posted on the Facebook page of former Norfolk police officer Terry Busby. I think the officer should sue Johnson's family for putting the officer's lives in danger, making detectives work past the time they were supposed to get off, the gas it took for them to get to the scene, the bullets used, the hospital bills, the equipment needed for forensics, and making me work the channel instead of reading my hot sexy book, LOL. To say that his family should be sued for the bullets that it took to kill him and that this call disturbed you from reading your hot sexy novel this is the type of behavior that just absolutely can't be tolerated. Last Tuesday, the Facebook post became public when Johnson's family and friends gathered at Norfolk City Hall and told council members the Facebook post was floating around. Diane Hayes did the talking. If you have this type of feeling in your heart for a people, what would you do if these people call? We went to the 911 call center at the Norfolk Police Operations Center. Jessica Camarillo wasn't working today and her boss director, Jim Reddick, did not return our calls. The city of Norfolk wouldn't comment because it's a personnel matter. We went to Camarillo's home. She wasn't there and didn't return our calls either. If the city of Norfolk will allow persons of this quality and caliber to remain in their employ, then I think that the citizens need to take a look at who we allow to run our city government. Now we are told that the dispatcher did not know her comments would go public. She thought that they were private. And when she found out, she posted this on Busby's Facebook page. She wrote, there you go, media, eat my expletive. Tonight at six, Michael Muhammad speaks out on how what she thought would not go public, and it did go public, makes the whole matter a lot worse. I'll have that part of the story tonight at 6. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.